beautiful Cedar Bay on Hawkins Island. The first step to fishkin tanning is to remove the fat and meat off the fishkin. I am using a butter knife, but a spoon or a scraper, even a shell will work. You should test out different tools to find out which one works best for you. This skin has been frozen and it is not completely thawed out, which makes it easier for scraping off the meat. My sister is using a scallop shell that she found on the beach. This worked really well for scraping the meat off the fish skin. Another great beach find would be a sharp edged rock or an antler. This next ones. step is to wash the fish skins with a liquid detergent. I'm using Dawn soap because that's a good degreaser and it helps get the oils out. I will rub it in and rinse several times. Then I'll put it in a sudsy solution, probably for at least eight hours, changing the water several times. with some clean water. Yeah. We have finished scraping all the meat and fat off the fish skins and we've washed them in Dawn soap and rinsed them in clean water to get all the oils out of the skin or as much of the oils as we can. And now we're laying them out um, to slightly dry them out to get most of the moisture out of them before we put them in their tanning solution. These are pink salmon, also called humpies. Aren't they beautiful? This first batch of fish skin that we processed, we put in the tammy solution made up of one part vegetable glycerin and one part 99% rubbing alcohol. These skins were completely immersed in the solution, 
some of the skins we will keep in for 24 hours and others we will keep in for 48 hours and then we'll be able to compare the difference. So these have been soaked for 24 hours in a half and half, or one part to one part. One part vegetable glycerin to one part 99% rubbing alcohol. They're uh, humpies, or pink salmon. They've been scraped and cleaned, and they're looking pretty good. Now I think we're gonna, we are going to rinse them with a little soapy water and then some fresh water and lay them out on a board and see how they come out. This next tanning solution that we made up is deer brains with hot water. One part deer brains to one part water and you blend it up. Any brains of any animal will actually work. You may be able to even check out your local grocery store and they may have pork brains in the freezer department. So you take this brain solution, this tanning solution, and rub it all over the fish skins to get it really saturated. Keep it like this or let it soak in for maybe around a half an hour. Then take each of the fish skins and you fold them up into little packages and you put them into a Ziploc bag making sure they're all covered with the brain tanning solution. And then we kept it in the Ziploc bag like this for 24 hours. out as much as this as I can. Roll it up in here. I just want to get as much of that out, solution out. And then we're going to dry them on a board. Feel a little bit different than the glycerin and rubbing alcohol. So you were wondering about the difference between the, the the fish skins that have been soaked in the glycerin and the vegetable glycerin and the alcohol, as opposed to these ones that have been soaked in deer brains. And there's they both feel rubbery. But I noticed that the glycerin and the rubbing alcohol, um, the skin feels um, tougher. I can pull on it on the, on the skin and it doesn't feel like it, it will tear. Where this one in the brains, it feels a little bit more delicate. See how they are when they dry. We're gonna dry them both on boards and um, we'll keep you posted. And this is just the first group from the brain tan. So this is yes. the 24 hour. Correct. We're going to do a 24 hour 
and we're going to do one for 48 hours. These are the fish skins, the pinks that we just pulled out of the solution. Rinsed off with soap and water, clean water. And now we're just laying them out and we're going to dry them. Um, we might tack a few so they lay flat. And I also took a little bit of dab of soap, dish soap, little dab, and just rubbed it on the outside of the skin just to help pull more of those oils out. Beautiful, huh? Doing this out at Cedar Bay. And this is the finished product. We kept track of how long we kept them in the solution, what type of solution they were in, if they were dried, if they were tacked down, and we wrote it all down on each skin. While we waited for our fish skins to dry, we gathered spruce roots so that we could add our spruce roots to the tops of our fish skin baskets that we planned to make. <laughs> 